Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Trading Futures Live. Um, I am Franco, I'm here with George, and in another Walk It Off episode, this is the number five, and certainly a very important to me. <laughs> this, this dog loves us. <laughs> um, well, we're, what we're going to talk about today is... Um, <clears throat> my psychology while I while I was in the trade if you guys see the live stream that uh, we had today in my in the live stream and my first um, trade I was like not only I was uh, a bit more calm right and there's a reason for that and is that my account is growing so I hit a threshold where my risk manager, aka uh, the smart risk uh, from uh, the system that I use, um, rise up the number of contracts, right? So I have a max risk of, uh, let's call it $600. And uh, where are we going? This way? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I have a max risk of $600 and now finally in my second trade I get to trade two contracts because uh, the zone was narrower than the first one. The first trade I lost something like 315 or 20 or something. It was not enough room for two contracts, right? But um so the system ended up taking just one contract. So I see how I was behaving a little bit more calm while in the second trade I was stressed out. And that's the reality. I, I did um, behave differently. And that's where you need to recognize uh, and try to work yourself out of these mental states because these are the states that can ruin your trading the the second trade ended up making money um, but while I was around break even or even one to one it was it was uh, it was tough for me to grab I was I needed to wait even though I even though I felt these sensations I um, I was prone to make mistake i've even said in the in the live stream i think i'm gonna scale out do you remember that yeah yeah so uh i ended up just leaving my target where it was i moved my stop um like i like i always do within my parameters and um the trade the trade ended up working but look my my point here is that we are all submitted or um, we can fall into these mental states. And I even said it, this is my last trade from today. I won't be trading anymore regardless of the outcome because I felt like I was not in the right state of mind, right? And I think that's a good thing that the experience of trading has uh, given me. Uh, being able to say not anymore or not at this time and look we're all humans I do sometimes fall and do stupid shit but um, the goal is to minimize those moments right I don't know what, what do you say George yeah absolutely I mean while you were in that trade it was uh, it was noticeable that uh, that your stress level was up in that trade, whether or not you could um, handle the loss. Uh, and so something that we talked about when we got off of the live stream and uh, took our first walk was whether or not you're necessarily ready for that position size moving forward. I think you are probably regardless. It was the first time you had had two minis on uh, in a while. So yeah. uh, it was going to be a shock. Uh, probably 
that sensation will reduce as time goes on and as your count grows more. But, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult for anybody when your first trade, you're only risking $300 and in your second trade, you're risking $600. And again, so that you guys understand, it's not that he did that on purpose. It's that the calculator um, does it. Yeah. His risk parameters allow for a $600 loss but he couldn't his, his zone was too large in his first trade so it only let him take one contract if he would have taken two it would have been more than the 600 hundred dollar limit that he has and so uh his reaction or his his mental state while he was in his second trade was obviously going to be different than his first trade um and so just something that he's going to need to be aware of moving forward and to work on and uh and i mean it's happened to all of us uh, uh do you do you know my experience and i think i'm gonna go back and do it when you leave um uh dr steenbarger for those who don't know uh, he has a book i think we reviewed one of them right uh yes uh, yeah okay so he has a technique it's not in the book but it's in another book of him where he he just Ask the traders to sit down in like a med meditative state and um, you picture in your mind a loss, a large loss and like in a situation where you're in trouble, right? And then your body, your body will start reacting according to what your thoughts are, what your mind is thinking, right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sit down, meditative state, I'm going to recall this trade and account for the risk that I, w I, I was adding to my account, meaning $300 plus $600, $900 total, and just to, just of saying it, I, I get chills because I don't want to lose $900, right? But uh, but the right the, the the technique works like this: you sit down, you imagine you already lost the nine hundred dollars, and you are gonna start having those feelings and sensations, and emotions will um, will uh, you know like arise right from your thoughts, and uh, the the work is you just absorbing those sensations like if you already know them right so that means uh is it works like a hedonic adaptation you know that term no. like you do it so often that oh. is it doesn't cause you uh anything and mentally and emotionally right so you sit down you do these meditations the type of meditation is more like you sit down you think about that and then when when the body starts to responds uh, accordingly like you get nervous your heart rate can you know go faster or you start sweating whatever you start feeling right? for everyone is for every person is, is very different but I know for me is my throat my throat gets like weird I, I got these sensations in my throat when I'm nervous and uh, I just try to absorb and adapt and, and to know those sensations so my body does not do stupid shit when I'm submitted to this type of stress. Right? You follow me? Yep. Yeah, so that's one thing that I uh, learned that I'm going to do because I need to um, step up and be wiser than my mind to be able to adapt to these um, scale up in my account now it looks like Cora Gables um, <laughs> just hired all the gardeners in South Florida well we do live in South Florida and the grass is growing at a tremendous pace these days so there's landscapers everywhere yeah uh, I don't know if right, you guys. have any other comment uh, no just uh, uh, walk it off number five we continue to do these walks every time we come off the live stream we go for a walk uh, and it's necessary. It was necessary for him. He was stressed out in that trade. And it was necessary for me because I was starting to feel FOMO. So, uh, so remember that it's okay to step away from the charts and, uh, yeah. 
and regroup and gather your mind and uh, so that you don't do stupid shit like Franco said. Yeah. With that, I think we're going to call it a uh, walk it off number five. Take care, guys. Bye now.